Welcome. Daniel Pratt did not like my last video. Uh, he thinks I didn't address the miles per hour and how fast he thinks the earth rotates. I don't know, Daniel, if you have went to school or if you are homeschooled by your water heater or what is your problem. When you talk about rotation, you don't talk in uh, kilometers per hour, uh, miles per hour. It's uh, RPM, rems per minute, or in the, when you talk about the Earth, we often talk about rotations per A or 15 degrees per hour. That's the scientific truth. To be honest, I don't think your water heat is, is a especially good teacher. Let's have a look at Daniel's uh, reply to my video. But first, I want to give a big thanks to all who support my channel. Okay, we've already got one genius that already responded. Let, let's hear his brilliance. Oh, thank you, Daniel. So you think I'm a genius? Brilliant. With the Earth rotation. And how can the hook and the chain be so still in these crazy speeds? These girls rotate in insane speeds. How can they survive, Daniel? Let's mess. No, they are going one, maybe two miles per hour, like I told you. Why are you asking me anything? Why aren't you once again answering the question I presented? The very basic math that any, again, competent third grader could complete. All you people ever do is twist our words and then misrepresent everything we've said and you think you've debunked us. This moron is about to go on and claim that these girls are moving 17,000 times faster than the earth, which I proved yesterday in my video, is moving 1,000 miles plus per hour at the equator. I don't know if you have a car and a driver's license, Daniel. I doubt it. Have you ever looked at the dashboard of a car? There is usually an instrument that shows RPM. Things that rotate are measured in RPM. Centrifugal force is the force that is created by a rotation. Things that rotate quickly have higher centrifugal for power. Uh, by quickly I mean the number of rotations not in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. If the centrifugal force of the Earth's rotation was stronger than gravity, then we'd not, not be able to remain on the ground. If the girls rotated their carousel really fast, centrifugal force would make them have to hold on so they don't fly off. How many revolutions per minute determines how high the force will be. And that's what would push them off the carousel, not kilometers per hour or miles per hour. He once again totally avoids that and just doubles down with the same shit I just debunked yesterday. Which leads us to the obvious conclusion. You people are either the dumbest motherfuckers alive Some hours or later, you are charlatan lying and demons his heater and you deserve every second video you spend as a reply burning in hell to my for it. video. Let's have a look at that one too. Earth is rotating at 1600 kilometers per hour at the equator. But what you refuse to understand is that you rotate at the same speed. So does the atmosphere. 
Therefore, the speed is not crucial. Then I'm not going to discuss religion with you. This is about science and facts, not whatever uh, there is a god or not, not or if it's hell or not. Some hours later, Daniel Pratt and his water heater published one more video as a reply to my video. Let's have a look at that one too. Okay, now why am I working so diligently to get the math denying, science, physics denying globe liars to admit that Earth moves at 1,000 miles an hour plus at the equator? Daniel, do you need a hearing aid or do you have trouble understanding my English or what? is the problem. We don't deny that the Earth is moving in that speed by at the equator, but it's not important. You are moving in the same speed. The atmosphere is moving in the same speed. Try to understand basic, basic physics, basic facts, and don't put uh, things in our mouth that we don't say. We don't deny that. Have I? Do I have to repeat myself again, again, and again to get you understand that? They will continuously again come with their constant velocity. There's no acceleration. That's why we can't feel it. Blah 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 blah. That's the truth, and you refuse to understand that explanation you're a science denying fool the smarter among them that know they are the liars that they are no that doesn't work with liquids and water they know that it is impossible to demonstrate water on a 1000 mile per hour rotating platform that doesn't flow away from the point of the axis of rotation, there would be a huge bulge of ocean at the equator and nowhere else on Earth if Earth were rotating at 1,000 miles per hour. Who are these smarter ones you're talking about? Is it your imaginary friends living in your water heater? The fact is that you're talking bullshit and you're talking the same bullshit as your friend level earth observer uh, rotation is not measured in kilometers per hour or miles per hour and you know it you try to uh, fool your audience with your bullshit Ask your friend level earth observer to so take a glass of water in his tower crane and rotate it in a speed of one lap per day. Or why not the insane speed I showed in my video, one lap in 140 seconds and see what's happened with the water. This is demonstrable repeatable and verifiable by anyone on earth if you claim otherwise please put some water in a container rotate that container at 1000 miles per hour and there you once again revealed your total lack of understanding of a basic physics ground school physics rotations is not measured in miles per hour or kilometers per hour it's uh, or frames per minute or laps per uh, hour or laps per day you don't understand the simplest things, poor man. Go back to your water heater. I think that have the same capacity as you in this type of subjects. Okay, I will leave you for now. 
I can't stand this foolishness anymore. Uh, see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.